the um, the reading of the book of Acts chapter twenty seven, no commentary. When it was decided that he should stay out in Italy, they handed Paul and some other prisoners over to a centurion named Phyllis of the cohort Augusta. Uh, when we went on board a ship from Avramtrium, Av- bound for ports in the province of Asia and set sail. Aristakakakakaka. Aristarchus, a Macedonian from Thessalonia, was with us. On the following day, we put in at Sidian, where Julius was kind enough to allow Paul to visit his friends who took care of him. From there, we put out the sea and sailed around the sheltered side of Cyprus because of the headwinds. And crossing the open sea off the course of Sicily and Panlithia, we came to Myra and Lexia. There, the centurion found an, Augusta, an Alexandrian ship, an Alexandrian ship that was Alexandrian ship was sailing to Italy and put us aboard. For many days, we made little headway, arrived at Sindias only with difficulty, and because the wind would not permit us to continue our course, we sailed for the shelter island of Crete of Sal- Salmon. We sailed past it with difficulty and reached a place called Fair Havens, near which was the city of Lycia. Much time had now passed, and sailing had become hard hazardous because of the time of the, la- of the fast had already gone by, so Paul warned them. Men, I can see that this voyage was severe, this voyage which was out in severe damage and heavily lost not only to the cargo and the ship, but also to our lives. The centurion, however, paid more attention to the pilot, uh, and to the owner of the ship uh, than to what Paul said. Uh, since the car- since the uh, uh, since the harbor was unfavorably situated for spending the winter, the majority planned to put out the sea from there in the hope of reaching Phoenix, a port in Crete, ways- facing west northwest, there to spend the winter. A south wind blew gently, and thinking that they had attained attained their objective, they weighed anchor and sailed along closer to the coast of Crete. Before long, an offshore wind wind of hurricane force called a northeaster struck. Since the ship was caught up in it and could not head into the wind, we gave way and let ourselves be driven. We passed along the sheltered side of an island named Caudia, Cauda, and managed only with difficulty, with difficulty to get the th, to get the dinghy under control. They hoisted it above. They hoisted it abroad, aboard. Uh, they hoisted it aboard, and then used the table the cables to undergrip the ship because of the fear that they would run aground. On the shore of on the shore of Cyprus, they lowered the drift anchor and were carried along the way. They were being pounced by the storm so violently that the next day they jettisoned the cargo, and on the third day, with their own hands, they threw, they threw even the ship's tackle overboard. Neither the sun nor the stars were visible for many days, and no small storm and raged. No small storm raged. Finally, all hope of our survival surviving was taken away. Uh, when many would no longer, when many would no longer eat, Paul stood among them and said, "Men, you should have taken my advice, and not ta- not set sail from Crete, and you would have avoided this disastrous loss. I urge you now to keep up your courage. Not one of you will be lost, only the ship." For last night, an angel of the God, whom I, whom I belong, uh, last night, an angel of the God to whom I belong and to whom I serve stood by me, and said, "Do not be afraid, Paul. You are destined to stand before Caesar, and behold, for your sake, God has granted safety to all who are sailing with you. Therefore, keep up your courage, men. I trust in God that it will turn out as I have been told." We are just to run aground on some island. On the fourteenth night, as well, on the fourteenth night, as we were 
still being driven uh, about on the Adriatic Sea toward midnight, the sailors began to suspect that they were nearing land. <sighs> they took they took surroundings and found twenty fathoms farthings. A little farther on, they again took surroundings and found fifteen farthings. Either fearing that we would run aground on rocky coasts, they dropped four anchors on the stern and play and prayed for the day to come. The sailors then tried and tried to abandon ship. They lowered the dinghy on the sea on the pretext of going to lay out anchors from the bow. But God said to the centurion and the soldiers, "Unless these men stay with me, unless these men stay with my ship." You cannot be saved. So the soldiers cut the ropes of the dinghy and set it adrift. Until the day began to dawn, Paul kept urging all to take some food. He said, Today is the fourteenth day that you have been waiting, going hungry and eating nothing. I urge you, therefore, take some food. It will help you survive. Not a hair on the head of any one of you will be lost. Uh, when he said this, he took bread and gave thanks to God in front of them and broke it, uh, began to eat. They were all encouraged and took some food themselves. And all, they were 276 of our... Uh, and, all, and all, there were 276 of us on the ship. Uh, after they had eaten... After they had eaten... They lightened their. After they had eaten, they had lightened the ship by throwing the wheat into the sea. When the day came, they did not recognize the land, but made out a bay with a beach. They planned to run the ship ashore on it if they could. So they cast off the anchors and abandoned them to the sea, and they at the same time and at the same time they fastened the lines of the rubbers. And hoisting the foresail onto the wind, they made for the beach. But they struck a sandbar and the ship aground. The bow was weighed in and could not be moved. But the stern began to break up under the pounding of the waves. The soldiers planned to kill the prisoners so that none may swim away and escape. But the centurion wanted to save Paul. Uh, and so kept them from carrying out their plan. He ordered those who could swim to jump overboard first and get to the shore. And then the rest, some on planks, others on the prey of the ship. In this way, all reached shore safely. Oh, wonderful. Paul is still alive. Okay, so we'll go to chapter uh, 27. Thank you for spending your evening with us. Have a lovely uh, night and God bless.